Good morning, class. Good morning. Okay, so today we're going to be going over point of view and narration. Who can tell me what point of view means? The perspective in which someone sees something. That is a perfect definition. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That is correct. The point of view can be defined as the eyes through which the story is told, and it is the voice in which the readers follow the plot and experience the story as it unfolds. And who can tell me what narration is? The person telling the story. That is perfect, yes. Narration can be defined as the action or process of narrating a story. And there are several kinds of narration. Who can tell me some examples of different kinds of narrations? First person. Excellent, that is exactly right. A first person would be a type of narration. And what is first person? Me, myself. I. That's exactly correct. Yes, you guys are really off doing awesome today. Um, so, first person narrative is where the narrator speaks or writes directly about themselves, and they do use pronouns such as I, me, my, myself. Um, so, there are two kinds of first person narratives. Can any of you tell me what these two kinds are? Reliable. That is perfect, yes. Uh, there are two kinds. Uh, we do have reliable, which what is reliable? Someone you can trust. That is perfect, yes. Um, this is a reliable narrator who we can trust, and a lot of the times, and uh, most of the time, our first person narratives are reliable. We do trust them. And what is our second kind of first person narrative? It's the opposite of reliable. Unreliable. That is exactly right, yes. Um, unreliable narration would be the second type of first person. And what does unreliable mean? You're no good to face liar. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Thank you for sharing, Robert. So an unreliable person is, uh, or narration would be someone you can't really trust. And there's several reasons why. Some of you said maybe lying would be one, uh, which is correct, such as the boy who cried wolf, or Pinocchio would be considered an unreliable narrator. Uh, but there could be other factors that may cause unreliable such, uh, narrations, such as amnesia, mental unstableness, to name a few. Right, and so we question them. Um, and then the next type we're going to go over is third person. What is third person narration? He, she. Excellent. Very good. Uh, the third person uh, does use the pronouns he and she, and it is told from outside, and the narrator does not take part of the story. And there are two kinds of third person who can tell. Well, there's different kinds, but who can give me an example of a third person narrative? Becky went to the mall and she didn't buy me a Frappuccino. That is excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, Jessica. That is correct. Uh, that's an example that you used of third person limited narration where the narrator follows one person in the story. So it's a limited perspective um, such as the Harry Potter series, uh, where usually the person being followed is the protagonist. So we know the character's inner feelings and situation, but not the others. Which brings me into the next one, which would be omniscient narration. What is omniscient narration? When the narrator knows everything, like God. That is a great example. Thank you so much, Henry. Yes, um, an omniscient narration means all knowing. That's what omniscient means. And exactly like you said, they are a godlike narrator where they do have access to the whole story. Um, they do use pronouns such as they, she, and he. And uh, they can actually go in to all the actions and control the thoughts and feelings of all the characters, including the settings. Okay, and that brings us into our next
thing we're going to be going over. So what is the story that we're going to be reading in class, or we have been reading in class today? The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. That's very good. So now that we know more about narration and point of view, can any of you tell me what narrative Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart is told from? First person. Yes, that's exactly right. First person and what kind of first person? Unreliable. That is perfect. You guys are doing swell. Yes, it is told from unreliable first person narrative. And how do we know it's told from first person unreliable? Because he's cuckoo. Right, we can't really trust the Arthur because he is constantly trying to convince the reader of his sanity, which actually causes us to question his sanity even more, right? So it's kind of ironic. Also, uh, we know it's first person because he does use I and me and mine throughout the story. It's from his point of view. So yeah, you guys were right on that. That was a tricky question, so nothing can beat you guys today, right? <laughs> okay, so um, let's get into our assignment. Can someone please read me what it is we're gonna be doing for our practice today? In Edgar Allan Poe's short story, The Telltale Heart, there are several characters including the madman, the old man, and the police. Imagine that you're a character from the story. Um, think of the period and setting of the story. In your own words, write a report of what happened that night and be sure to write from the eye of your character and tell your tale from the heart. That is excellent. Thank you so much for reading you guys and doing awesome. So just like we said, um, you guys are going to be writing the story in your own words, but from another character's point of view. Um, so you can choose any of the other characters in the story, like the old man's point of view or the police's point of view, and you're gonna be writing about what happened that night. And I have a sample to model for you all. This would be um, one I did. And this is actually told from the neighbor's point of view. So it's not an option on here, but this is um, something so you guys can get an idea. And it says, Dear friend, last night I heard a terrible scream that made my blood curdle. It was precisely midnight and I was asleep in my chamber when suddenly I heard a cry that called to, that chilled me to the bone. Its suddenness disturbed my sleep, and I jumped in her horror. I had awoken my spouse, who responded with terror at my frightened state. I informed that I heard a scream from the neighbors. My spouse calmed me and suggested I call the police. I went urgently to contact the police, who responded immediately. I thanked the police kindly, and I prayed for the old man's well-being. So that is an example of what it is we're going to be doing today. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be like that, but, you know, just so you guys get an idea. Does any, do any of you have any idea or any questions today about point of view, narration, or our assignment? No. Perfect. Well, then let's get started. <laughs> 